Well, this is a bizarre case. A couple allegedly stabs a cat because they say it was possessed by demons. 13 Action News reporter Tom George spoke with the homeowner in shock and her tenants who tell a very different story from behind bars. I think that they should be castrated and tortured and murdered. Nia Wolken is a mix of emotions. I'm still shaking when I think about it. She was gone for several days caring for her stepdad who passed away and things only got worse from there. And then I come home and then my cat's dead. She found her swords gone, used to stab her cat baby girl who later died. Outside, another cat covered in bleach. These cats, the only survivors. That's when she confronted Emmanuel Church who was renting a room from her along with his fiance. And uh, he goes, oh, well, I had to uh, kill your cat. I'm like, what? In fact, Church told police the same exact story in this report. And in fact, he told us the same thing from behind bars when we sat down with him. He says the cat was attacking him like it was Floyd Mayweather's last fight. <laughs> and says he tried other ways to calm the cat down before stabbing it. You feel me? You don't see me just putting the cat in a big pot and boiling him or something like that. You see me trying, literally Googling things that would not expire the cat. He says he just wishes it would never have happened. I deeply apologize that that happened. That, that, that's all I can really say. But Nia isn't buying it. She worries her other pets would be gone too if she hadn't stopped it when she did. I can't even wrap my head around it. I, I couldn't do that to an animal. Tom George, 13 Action News.